killing enough of them? We're killing a lot of them, and we're going to keep killing more of them. So are the Egyptians, so are the Jordanians. They're in this fight with us. But we cannot win this war by killing them. We cannot kill our way out of this war. We need in the longer term, medium and longer term, to go after the root causes that leads people to join these groups, whether it's lack of opportunity for jobs. Well, we're not going to be able to stop that in our lifetime or 50 lifetimes. There's always going to be poor people. There's always going to be poor Muslims. And as long as there are poor Muslims, the trumpets blow and they'll join. We can't stop that. If Chris Matthews, how many times have I said this today? Welcome back, folks. If Chris Matthews is, is, is mocking uh, Maria Hoft uh, and the State Department, then, my God, we're, in, we're really in trouble. Dr. Andrew Boston, professor of medicine at Brown University and author of Iran's final solution for Israel, the legacy of jihad and Shiite Islamic Jew hatred in Iran, joins us. And, Doctor, you wrote a great piece at uh, Breitbart.com, um, your essay on Denmark's Islamic blasphemy and Jew hatred killings called Reenacting Muhammad in Copenhagen. Before we get to that, you know you could educate the State Department and Barack Obama on exactly what it is that motivates these people to become terrorists and chop off the heads of Christians and Jews and other Muslims. It has nothing to do with having a job or not having a job. Some of the, some of the, you know, the, the, the hierarchy of Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups are very wealthy people, had, had very well-educated people. So tell them, tell Maria what, what, what motivates them to become who they are. Well, in a word, uh, it's jihad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's the doctrine of Islamic conquest. Um, it is the prototype behavior of Islam's prophet Muhammad. Uh, Steve, we even have the Atlantic, uh, uh, which is not exactly a conservative bastion, uh, acknowledging how authentically Islamic ISIS is. Um, and so, uh, you know, this is this has been a terrible failing of both the Bush and the Obama administrations. Obviously, it's worse than the Obama administration, which is not to make plain that there is a global jihad going on now. Islam goes through these periods of revival periodically since its inception. We have the misfortune of living through one of a, one of the pretty intense revival periods. Um, and uh, w why waste time with, with uh, other theories when we see exactly uh, the, the, the call to the attack on the uh, uh, free speech conference in Copenhagen was Allahu Akbar, which is exactly what Muhammad himself uh, 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 declared when he uh, waged a jihad against the Jewish tribe uh, in, in, in Arabia, uh, the, the, uh, the, the Jews of the Kaibar Oasis, and it, it, it has been a battle cry, a jihadist battle cry ever since. And you talk about how the uh, attacks in Copenhagen, I mean, they, uh, they, uh, granted it was uh, one person as far as we know, and, and of course two accomplices uh, who, who hid him, uh, but it, it's almost the same exact M.O., uh, I mean, you know, you hit the freedom of speech, uh, which was uh, kind of, uh, you know, analogous to hitting uh, the magazine. Then you go to uh, a Jewish target, uh, President Obama. You go to a Jewish target like they did with the kosher deli. Here they did it. At a, he did it at a synagogue. It's exactly the same pattern. And, and, and Muhammad targeted those who mocked him, quote unquote, blasphemers, and he targeted Jews. Um, and th th these, these are two primary targets of today's jihadists. Also, the date, whether it was known to this jihadist himself or, 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 or not, uh, Omar Abdul Hamid El Hussein or not, February 14th was the 26th anniversary to the day of Ayatollah Khomeini's 1989 fatwa, which condemned Rushdie as well as his publishers to death for their alleged blasphemous novel, The Satanic Verses. And Khomeini was very clear. He called on zealous Muslims to execute them quickly wherever they find them so that no one will dare to insult is Islamic sanctity. Whoever is killed doing this will be regarded as a martyr and will go directly to heaven. This, this was exactly 26 years to the day that, that, uh, that Khomeini issued that fatwa on Rushdie. 
And, and Andrew, uh, we, we have, of course, the horrific uh, beheadings of the uh, Coptic Christians that uh, the Pope calls martyrs and that the uh, President of the United States calls citizens of Egypt. Um, do you think that, I mean, Italy's on guard now. Do you think that ISIS uh, has their sights set on the Vatican and, and, and Rome, I should say? A absolutely. I, I, I think there are mixed messages in, or dual messages in that pronouncement that accompanied the grisly beheadings of, of, of 21 Coptic Christians in that Rome could be a target for Christianity in general, but, but it, Libya has a specific uh, gripe with, with Italy as, as the colonial power that, 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 right. uh, that occupied Libya. So there could be a All right, Andrew, I, I, I want everyone, everyone go to, everyone go to Breitbart.com and uh, read Andrew Bostom's great column. Thank you, sir. Up next, Thanks. Peter Morisi. And Greece is the word.